Hi, my name is Manoj Jain. I have many years of hands-on experience working at the bench, formulating personal care products. Thank you, Manoj. My name is Emma. We have often been asked, do cosmetic chemicals and perfumes penetrate and absorb through the skin? And is there a mechanism, scientific basis for skincare products to work? The question is relevant to most of us who regularly use skincare products or perfumes. The answer to these questions requires an understanding of the skin layers, epidermal layers, and physicochemical properties of the chemicals. It leads us to understand the mechanism behind percutaneous absorption, percutaneous meaning, passing through the skin. The skin consists of three layers, epidermis, dermis, and hypodermis. The top layer epidermis is composed of five layers or strata. First, stratum corneum, second, stratum lucidium, third, stratum granulosum, fourth, stratum spinosum, and the fifth, stratum basale. There are mainly four cell types in the epidermis, including keratinocytes that produce keratin, melanocytes that make the skin pigment melanin, Langerhans cells that fight pathogens in the skin, and Merkel cells that respond to touch. The epidermis has no blood supply and receives all its nutrients from the deeper dermis. The top layer epidermis with its five stratas does not contain any collagen or elastin. All skincare cosmetic products are applied on this layer. Regarding the question about cosmetic chemicals and perfumes, absorption through the skin. Stratum corneum is the most significant barrier to chemical compounds passing through it and being absorbed via the skin. The process of chemical substances permeating skin occurs very quickly when they enter the stratum granulosum, the layer below the top two epidermal layers. How thick is the stratum corneum? It is approximately 10 to 25 microns in thickness. To understand this, the thickness of human hair is around 70 microns, and the thickness of the whole epidermis with all five layers is approximately 200 microns. So, when we talk about the skin barrier or discuss strengthening the hydrolipid barrier of the skin, we refer to the top strata of the top layer, the stratum corneum of the epidermis. Have you heard or read about brick and mortar model of the skin? The brick and mortar model of the skin is related to the stratum corneum. Many vitamin C serums containing 15% or more vitamin C use more than 15% of di-propylene glycol or ethoxy D glycol to deliver vitamin C but that high percent of glycols will potentially disrupt the skin's barrier. A high percentage of glycols are used as permeation enhancers, which can create further problems and potentially disrupt the hydrolipid barrier of the skin. What happens when this barrier is disrupted? Dehydrated skin to psoriasis, eczema, and dermatitis are the results. One of the primary goals of a good skincare product is to strengthen the hydrolipid barrier of your skin. Please check your product label if you have been using a 15% vitamin C serum with a high percent of glycols, we suggest you complement that with a heavy and occlusive type of moisturizer to protect the hydrolipid barrier of the skin. This top epidermal layer stratum corneum consists of 10 to 25 flattened layers of keratin-filled corneocytes. Each layer is approximately one micron thick, so the stratum corneum is about 10 to 25 microns thick. Here's a question. Do you use exfoliants or cell renewal products? Exfoliation cell renewal in skincare simply means the removal of the layers of corneocytes, which are dead skin cells on the stratum corneum. The more powerful the exfoliating agent and its concentration is, the more layers are removed. Now, let us understand the skin penetration absorption pathway of cosmetic chemicals. It will also provide us an insight into how skincare products work. There are two pathways for products applied to epidermal skin. One, stratum corneum, pathway two, skin appendage pathway. The other important aspects to consider are molecular weight of chemicals, the octanal water partition coefficient, molecular size, temperature, skin hydration level, percentage of keratolytic ingredients, ingredients that enhance exfoliation, such as glycolic acid, salicylic acid, and lactic acid and percentage of solvents, such as alcohol, glycol, and glycol ethers. To summarize, the skin's penetration absorption resistance arises primarily from its 10 to 25 micron thick outermost layer. The corneocytes and lipid matrix in the stratum corneum are arranged in a brick and mortar-like structure, where spaces between the corneocytes are filled with the lipid matrix 
meaning oil-soluble components. In order to deliver active ingredients into and across the skin, this barrier has to be overcome. The most critical physiochemical properties responsible for skincare ingredients, penetration and absorption through the skin, are molecular weight and the octanol water partition coefficient, called log P. Our team selects ingredients with care and precision. In other video, we may discuss these physiochemical properties and the skin. Thank you. Thank you, Emma, for all the information. But do you know the definition of cosmetics? Yes, Manoj. Here it is. The regulations do not prohibit entry of cosmetic ingredients through the skin. They are related only to applicable claims as a cosmetic product. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos on beauty, health and science.